Hello. The studies of long life learning have enabled us to recognise and emphasise theories around student development and maturity in correspondence to the learning characteristics and needs of students with primary and secondary school setting. Going into the study of teaching, we recognise that every student's attitudes, values, beliefs will be diverse. Also, their social, physical and emotional needs. As a pre-service teacher, we must recognise the diversity in the classroom and alter and adjust the classroom environment and the curriculum they meet to every student's needs. As a Kara state, that teachers will be and must be use various teaching strategies to develop teaching and learning programs that build on students' interests, goals, strengths and learning needs and address the cognitive, effective, physical, social and aesthetic needs of all students. For this assessment, we have chosen to target the background and bracket of secondary HPE students. So that throughout this video, we introduce the physical, social, emotional, intellectual needs of these students whilst introducing a theoretically supported teaching practice that will influence individual learning and development. Secondary students, specifically grade 10, are at a stage of the early and middle adolescent bracket. Through the social, emotional, physical and intellectual development represented by grade 10 students, we'll be able to discover their potential needs. We'll go through each element of development, then identify the needs of these students, specifically HPE grade 10 students. In social development, there is a capacity for a greater amount of mature interactions with groups and individuals significantly that young adolescents have a social need to fit in with a group. In their emotional development, they attempt to develop and identify themselves adultly as an acceptance is expressed in the way they seek out individuality and uniqueness by implanting diverse personalities and styles. In physical development, students' physical attributes grow, therefore they need for health and physical activity increase. Muscle strength and mass expand throughout the stage, and students' hand-eye coordination will improve over time alongside with motor skills such as catching and throwing objects. In intellectual cognitive development, it is proposed that brain development is heavily impacted on how students spend their time. Various and a range of activities influence the student's brain, such as music, video games, language and sport. How teachers guide and influence the student will have a positive or negative effect on students' brain development. As evidently seen, early and middle adolescents have a need to acquire for their development. Group work, social and physical activities and social interactions are some needs which are acquired for the element of development for secondary students. Health and physical education offers experimental learning with a curriculum that is relevant, engaging, contemporary, physically active, enjoyable and developmentally appropriate. Therefore, various st strategies and practices can be implemented to meet the required needs for secondary HPE students as the element of the curriculum specifically highlights factors of secondary student development. The activity that we'll be focusing on this presentation is a basketball warm-up activity for Year 10 students. This activity will involve the three basic elements of basketball, passing, dribbling and shooting. As warm-up activity, it also involves a small amount of running over a short distance. With a class of 14 to 16 year olds in any school, there's going to be a range of different ability fitness levels. Even at this age, there is a distinct possibility of any student never being played basketball in their life. Therefore, it is important that this drill, while it still focuses on the skills of basketball, is simple enough to be understood by someone with a little knowledge of the game. Many factors can influence the learning and development of students in the schooling environment. A major social cultural factor that will affect the education and progress of students in this situation is their home life. If the home life of a student isn't supportive and caring, it can have a huge effect on their ability to participate in this activity. There are a variety of ways that a deprived home life can negatively affect the participation of a student. If a child isn't receiving a proper diet at home, they may not have enough energy to participate in their, uh, to their potential. As long as they aren't getting enough sleep as well, it can have the same effect. If parents have never exposed a student to sport, more specifically basketball, this can put the child behind an aspect of simply not knowing how to play the sport. This can have a flow-on effect in discouraging participation for fear of being ridiculed in front of their peers. Due to these negative effects, this is a social cu cultural factor can have on students participating in this drill. It is important to monitor the process of students and ensure that any negative effects are minimised. Giving clear instructions to the class at the start of the activity is essential, and you may ensure that everyone understands how to complete the drill. However, the variety of diverse needs of students can make explaining the activity quite complicated. For example, in this class, there is a student with a hearing impairment. After just explaining the activity, this student would not know how to properly complete it. Therefore, as a teacher, it is important to provide a demonstration to ensure the class is paying attention. This ensures that the diverse need of the student is taken into account without singling out the student and embarrassing them in front of their peers. After passing and dribbling the ball, activity concludes with a shot to the basket. Shooting basketball requires quite a lot of strength since the ball is quite heavier than a volleyball or a netball. If a student fears that they can't shoot the ball into the hoop or make the distance, they will be less inclined to participate in the activity. Fear of failure in front of peers is one of the biggest limiters of people participating in activities, especially physical actions when their body can be shamed. Due to this, the drill fi finishes with a short shot from the post, which is positioned quite close to the basket. This will ensure all students who aren't quite as muscularly developed as others will still be able to complete the activity at the same level as more developed students. In conclusion, after addressing the physical, social, emotional, intellectual needs of HPE students, it is evident that there are many factors that can influence the learning and development of students in the schooling environment. These barriers must be acknowledged for all students to have a fair opportunity and feel safe and include... Created using Powtoon.